Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to The Syndicate. My name is Savin, founder, president, and CEO. Now lately, the R&D department has been trying to ascertain the most efficient and effective way to grow our products. We conducted an experiment on all of the possible grow pot setups and found that yes indeed, the AirPot and the full spectrum light are working as expected. However, we did notice one thing. While the AirPot does increase the grow speed of your plant by 15%, it also decreases the moisture retaining by 30%, meaning that you will have to water the AirPot a lot more than the other pots in the game. So today we are going to run experiment number two. We're gonna see if this will operate as a bottleneck for our botanists. Because let's be frank, ladies and gentlemen, the botanists are very slow. So giving them a task that takes even longer might end up being counterproductive. So let's head down to the warehouse floor and I will show you what we are up to today. Now I know I said I'd take you down to the floor to have you take a look at what I've got going on, but boy oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, this has been an ordeal. I've been running into bug after bug after bug. So what I did instead is I made sure that this was set up properly and ran properly for the first day. So we are actually at the end of of day one and I'm gonna take this opportunity to explain to you what is set up how it works and then we will finish off with day two and day three so we are gonna hop down but this isn't the, before the experiment started this is after the first day of the experiment now keep in mind guys this is early access so bugs they happen they are gonna happen so still early early access for this game let's uh let's go ahead and jump down here and I'll show you what we've got going on so for this experiment, I've got four different setups. In the back, I've got a five AirPod setup, and then I've got a six AirPod setup, seven AirPod setup, and eight AirPod setup. We've got four botanists. Each botanist is paired with one handler. The handler, all they're gonna be doing is transferring backup supplies into the main storage rack, and then, they are also going to be, so once the botnets grow the, pl the, the plants, they put them on the first shelf, and the handlers take the stuff from the first shelf, move it to the second, and then to the third, and then to the fourth. And then at the end of each day, what I'm going to do is grab all the buds from each of the setups, and I'm going to bring them back here. I'm going to brick them up, and we are going to go ahead and throw them in their safe. So this will be eight, this will be seven, this one will be six and this one will be five. That is what we are going to be doing today. Day one is in the books. Everything went smoothly, no bugs. Uh, so hopefully this, this setup will get us some good data. Uh, so let me tally up the results for day one and uh, we'll take a look, hang tight. A few moments later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at our day one results. We're gonna start with the five pot setup. And the five pot setup has produced nine bricks, 12 loose buds. That's 192 buds for a five pot setup. Next up, let's take a look at the six pot setup. This one has produced 11 bricks with 12 loose. So that is 232 buds total in one day. So the six pot setup has done 232 buds. Let's move on to number seven. Seven pot setup has done 11 bricks and four loose. So that's 200 and 24 buds. And now the eight pot setup that has produced nine bricks and 12 loose buds. That is 192 buds created. Very interesting results after day one. We've got two more days to go. Let's go motivate the troops and we will get on to day two. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna make this short and sweet. Excellent work, day one is in the books. We've got two more days, so make sure Give it your all, work your hearts out, get some good night's sleep, get three hours, three hours of sleep, and then we're back at it again. So congratulations on a, on a uh, productive day. We will get up bright and early in the morning and do go for day two, all right? Let's do it. Day two. It is the morning of day two. Our workers are back at it. We're gonna let them do their thing today and I will check back in with you after day two is done. Hang tight. One eternity later. 
And we have reached the end of day two. I'm going to hop on down, get all of the buds consolidated, and we will take a look at our results so far. So hang tight. A few minutes later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've got all of the product consolidated. We're going to start off with five, the five pot station. And the five pot station has produced 23 bricks with 16 loose, which gives us a total of 476 bud in two days. Next up, we're going to do the six pot setup. The six pot setup has done 27 bricks with 16 loose. That gives us a total of 556 buds in two days. Now the seven pot setup. The seven pot setup has done 27 bricks and eight loose buds, giving us a total of 548 buds. And last but not least, the eight pot setup. Let's take a look. The eight pot setup has done 25 bricks and four loose. That is a total of 504 buds. Very interesting results. We are two days in. Let's go ahead and motivate the troops and we will get this thing going for day three. All right, ladies and gentlemen, great job. Two days in, one more day to go. I want you all to work really hard tomorrow. Uh, we we want to finish strong. You've all, all done an excellent, excellent job so far. So thank you very much for all your hard work. Let's put in our A effort tomorrow. Get our three hours of sleep. We're getting up at 7 a.m. Let's finish this thing off. Day three. And here we are, the morning of day three. The experiment is almost done, and this one has been a slog. Whew. Cannot wait to get the final results. Let's let the botanists and the handlers do their thing, and we will check in at the end of the day. A few moments later. And we have done it, ladies and gentlemen. We've reached the end of day three. Let me hop on down, get everything consolidated, and we will see our final results. I've got all the buds packaged up, so let's take a look and see what we've got. Starting with the five pot setup. Five pot setup created a total of 38 bricks, which gives us a total of 760 buds. Next up, the six pot setup. Six pot setup has yielded 44 bricks for a total of 880 buds. Now the seven pot setup. The seven pot setup has 42 bricks with 12 loose. That'll give us a total of 852 buds. And last, and possibly least, I don't know, we'll see, the eight pot setup. The eight pot setup yielded 41 bricks and eight loose for a total of 828 buds. So that means the winner of today's experiment is the six pot setup with a total of 880 buds. Very, very interesting results indeed. So if we combine this experiment with the experiment we did previously, the numbers don't exactly add up. If you remember our last experiment, we found that one air pot should produce roughly 180 buds in a three day span. That means that our five pots should have made 900, our six pots should have made 1,080, seven pots should have made 1,260, and eight pots should have made 1,440. But our results were nowhere even near this. As I said, the winner of this experiment was the six pot setup, which produced 880 buds. But is it the most efficient setup possible? I think we're going to have to run yet another experiment to find that out. So join me next time when we do experiment number three in order to ascertain the most efficient and effective grow pot setup in schedule one. Now, even though I had to run this experiment several times and we did run into multiple bugs, here at the syndicate, we always look for the silver lining. One of the situations I ran into offers an excellent opportunity to demonstrate another core motto here at the syndicate, and that is never cross the boss. Christine, I watched you the entire night, the entire day because I had a sneaky suspicion that something was up. And I noticed you were making the buds, you were growing them, but mysteriously, not a single bud, 
Not a single one made it to the brick press. That's a problem, Christine. We don't take kindly people stealing our product here in the syndicate. I put you in charge of four pots and I watched you grow and harvest several plants today. Yet you did not take a single bud to the brick press. So where'd all that weed go, Christine? Where'd it all go, huh? Well, needless to say, you're fired. You are fired. Not only are you fired. I'm going to put you where you belong. You steal my product. You think I'm going to be okay with that? Huh? Yeah, I don't think so. For the rest of you, congratulations. Unfortunately, we are going to have to start this experiment over. I'm going to go hire uh, Christine's replacement. We'll get reset up, and in the morning, we will give this another try. All right, we got to restart day one. Hang tight, guys. Let me get everything set up, and then we'll head to bed. All right? First, I need to go talk to Manny. Hey, Manny. How you doing, man? Hey, look, we need to have a talk. Christine, one of the botanists you sent over? Yeah, man, she was stealing my product. So, just to let you know, she probably is going to be disappearing here soon. Would not, uh, would not count on her showing up to any, uh, anything you might have arranged for her. Just so you're aware. So I do need to go ahead and hire another botanist. So can you get me another botanist set up? Uh, yeah, send it to the warehouse, please. Yeah, all right, fine. Although, you know, honestly, I think this one should be for free. Because the last one you sent, sent me stole from me. All right? No, you're, you're still, you know, Manny, I love you, man, but never send me crop employees again. You got it? Huh? Send me, send me another employee that steals from me. Send me another employee that steals from me and, and see what happens. See what happens. Hey, you have a good night. Igor, how you doing, man? Your boss is taking a nap. Smart man not intervening. But for now, this is Savin saying thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and keep on grinding.